welcome students welcome all hi i am nikhil goel i am the maths faculty here at j physics wala where we are learning english j batches so today we are going to start a new lecture like area under curves so i welcome all of you on this platform and for your journey for succeeding in j exams and even in board exams you many students ask me sir how it is different for studying for board exam and for studying for j see in maths mat in mathematics what i feel is or what i want to tell you each and every student that it's just like uh, lifting weights like if lifting a 2 kilo is easier for you in j you need to lift a 10 kg weight means it's the weightage of the question means suppose the difficulty level of a question so if a 2 kg question you can lift easily so that means you can now be ready for 5 kg 8 kg 10 kg so like that in maths means i'm totally talking about only maths uh, my dear students that if you are really capable of solving 10 kg weight question so automatically you will able to solve for your board exams 2 kg or 1 kg question so basically if you are studying for je automatically your board exams are covered in mathematics automatically your board exams are covered just what you need to think or what you need to keep in mind is the statements and the all paragraph types because you need to write and elaborate everything in the board exams the more you elaborate the more pages you write for a single question the more marks you will be getting so according to the marks and everything you need to keep things in that way like you need to increase the length you need to decrease the length if it is two marks or one mark in that way so definitely in maths if you are studying for je automatically that will be covering your j means uh, board parts or cbse part whatever board you are giving j is the tough top most uh, what you can say level and after that all the board exams and all will come below that okay so let's start with this so today is our first lecture of area under curves it's a very small topic for je but one question come from this chapter every year one question is a must which comes from this chapter every year and it's very simple even in the syllabus if you see it is now written as area under simple curves means usually previously difficult and difficult curves where they were giving but nowadays from the past 3 4 years it has been mentioned that only area under simple curves the curves which we have already studied in 11th class maximum uh, means maximum most of the curves you have studied in 11th like coordinate geometry curves conic section circles straight lines all those things with function graphs like greatest integer sin x cos x all those things so all of this we are going to study with uh, this uh, wonderful steam so let's start with this okay so today we are going to learn area under simple curves now sir what do you mean by area under simple curves i think we have already learned or discuss about integration definite integration like a to b fx dx now the meaning of this i am uh, i'm thinking you know what is the meaning of this the meaning of this is area bounded by curve y is equals to fx line x is equals to a x equals to b and x axis this is the meaning of this thing definite integration the meaning of this is this thing but when you are solving in definite integration if you get negative answer you keep negative if you get positive answer you keep positive okay but when you are solving for area you need to always take a modulus value so if question becomes like this if your question become like this that what is the area bounded by curve line this and this and x axis those the answer will be area is mod value of a to b fx dx this is the first and foremost difference between definite integration and the statement of this area means definite integration can be positive or negative but area has to be always positive area cannot be negative that is the difference okay so basically after learning okay sir this is the curve this is the lines where it is intersecting you need to apply this definite integration that's it you need to apply this definite integration so on the first part you can say that you have to be little bit firm or you have to be little bit confident in definite to solve this chapter because 
the base chapter for all these chapters is indefinite. If your indefinite is strong, so definite area and differential equation, the chapter after this, all will be for are all are focused on one chapter, def indefinite integration. If you are good at that chapter, automatically you can solve the next three chapters easily. Because the difficulty level of question in indefinite goes from medium to high level, but in these question it is always medium only. It never goes up to high level. Okay, chalo. Next, <clears throat> so sir, you can see that means graphically, if a curve is there, this is a line x equals to a, this is a line x is equals to b, and this is x axis. So this is the curve. So the area bounded by the curve, line x equals to a, x equals to b, and x axis. This is termed as area. This will be termed as your area. Similarly, it can be negative side also, like, so this is your y equals to f of x. This will be y is equals to f of x. x is equals to a, x is equals to b this will be your area. Now in indefinite this will be negative but in area we will keep it as positive. We will keep it as positive. Okay. I hope everyone is understanding what is there. Chalo. Moving on. Now sir sometimes we need to take area with respect to y axis also. We need to take area with respect to y axis also. Like this is the curve y is equals to f of x and they are asking area between lines y equals to a y equals to b so this will be your area with y axis so now the terminology or the area will become same sir a to b but now y is a function of x we need to convert into x as a function of y we need to convert in x as a function of y so it will become f of y dy. This will be your area. So many a times it will happen that you need to take area with respect to y axis or it will be given in terms of y axis like area bonded by function x equals to f of y, y equals to a, y equals to b and y axis. Then this is your area means with respect to y axis not with respect to x-axis. Understanding? I hope everyone is understanding this part. Chalo. Moving on. Now before moving to other means questions and all, first of all we need to learn some standard graphs. Because many graphs are there, we need to learn what standard graphs are there because the transformation of those standard graphs only will help you to get the curve knowledge which will be coming in the questions. So few of them like sir y equals to mod x y equals to mod x. It's a structure like this y is equals to x it's a straight line y is equals to x square it's like this y is equals to x cube it's like this okay then y is equals to root x y is equals to x to the power 1 by 3 it will come in both the directions so these are some basic graphs which you need to remember then some special graphs like y equals to greatest integer x step function I hope everyone remembers step function like this so this is the first lot which you should remember mod x x x square x cube root x 1 by 3 integral x all these should be in your mind or you should be aware of these okay let's move on so now let's see some more standard graphs like y equals to log x sir 
log x graph is like this then y is equals to a power x a power x graph is like this okay so these two graphs are inverse of each other log x and a power x now then one more special graph fractional part of x fractional part of x graph is like this it always go from 0 to 1 like this okay so all these are one this is fractional part of x so these many graphs should be at your fingertips should be in your mind apart from these there is some more list like all the trigonometric graphs sin x cos x tan x cot x secant x cosecant x these graphs also you should be knowing then after this the inverse trigonometry graphs means along with them inverse trigonometry graphs and after this the last set is parabola y square equals to 4ax and x square equals to 4ay then ellipse and then the last one is hyperbola so these are the curves which you should be studying you should be knowing before entering into solving questions all these curves should be in your mind okay the previous page and this page this means questions are coming from these parts only questions will come from these parts only these and this okay okay my dear students now let's move on first of all recall these three big formulas what we call as big formulas nine standard forms how to remember it i have a very quick trick also to remember them like x square minus a square x square minus a square so the first term is always same just multiply x by 2 to them just multiply x by 2 so multiply x by 2 term x by 2 term x by 2 and term okay so the first term is sorted it has always two parts so the first part is sorted as multiply x by 2 the first part first part first part okay now for the second part you need to recall the formulas of 1 upon 1 upon and 1 upon and I hope these formulas you remember because these are very standard formulas and every students need to remember it now wherever a minus a square is there only their minus a square by 2 will come remaining plus a square so plus a square by 2 okay after that formula of 1 upon this thing like 1 upon x square minus a square is log x plus root x square minus a square 1 upon x square plus a square so log x plus x square plus a square then 1 upon a square minus x square sine inverse x by a so remembering this is very easy two parts it has first part just multiply x by 2 with it x by 2 x by 2 second part minus a square by 2 so minus a square by 2 minus a square by 2 and this thing okay I hope everyone is understanding so the graphs the integration formulas these are the tools which you will be using for solving this chapter if you are comfortable in these tools then the chapter is very easy really guys the chapter is very easy few parts where it will be difficult I'll be telling you those parts and make it easier for you and I'll show you how simple this chapter is and you can score plus four marks in your JE exams and even in your board exams also okay Chal. moving on now let's start with the question calculate the area bounded by the parabola and its lattice rectum I hope you remember what does a lattice rectum means lattice rectum means the line perpendicular to the axis and passing through the focus in this you need to make a rough diagram you need to make a rough diagram now this is a standard parabola 
y square equals to 4ax. So the focus will be a comma 0. Now let us rectum is the line which passes through focus and perpendicular to it, which passes through focus and perpendicular to it. This is your lattice rectum. Okay. If you remember, sir, length of lattice rectum is 4a. So this point is a comma 2a. This is a comma minus 2a. Right. So I need this area. I need this area. They are asking. Lattice rectum, parabola. Calculate the area bounded and its lattice rectum. So this is symmetric, sir. We have a benefit of symmetric graphs. What? Sir, if you find first half, this part, and multiply by 2, you will get the complete answer. And the first half is what? Sir, from 0 to A. 0 to A. Then the curve, area bounded by the curve, line x equals to 0, line x equals to A, and x-axis proper definition. So that means your answer will become area is equals to 2 times integration 0 to a what curve sir this is y square equals to 4 a x curve should be always y equals to terms of x it cannot be y square okay so y is equals to root of 4 a x now basically plus or minus will come plus means above x axis minus means below y axis so plus root 4 a x dx this will be your half answer multiply by 2 means full parabola answer so only the first part of plotting and judging which area we need to take that is of area bounded after that this is completely indefinite and definite integration so first part second part is already if you have comfortable in that it is will become a cakewalk for you this will become a cakewalk like sir integration root 4 a is a constant sir and root x integration is x power 3 by 2 by 3 by 2 i hope now 2 root a so 2 to the it will become sir uh, 4 root a and 2 by 3 came out so a to the power 3 by 2 minus 0 so sir it will become 8 by 3 root a plus 3 by 2 sir 1 by 2 3 by 2 4 by 2 so 2 so it will become a square so area will become 8 a square by 3 area will become 8 a square by 3 I hope everyone is understanding right now next question the area bounded by x axis and the curve 4x minus x square minus 3 sir always remember the a quadratic equation is a parabola either this parabola depend on coefficient of x square if x square coefficient is positive this when x square coefficient is negative one thing now Sir, y is equals to, if I take minus common, this is x square minus 4x plus 3. Sir, why you have taken minus common? Sir, I am making calculation easier. Point is, after seeing this, people or students are means facing difficulties in making factor factors of these. So better you take minus common. Automatically, this will become a simple quadratic which you can factor easily. Like here, in this case, this will be x minus 3 into x minus 1 right easily now now you can take one minus inside or keep it like this now how to draw sir in drawing one root will be 1 and one root will be 3 also if you put x is equals to 0 y is minus 3 y is minus 3 means when x is 0 y is minus 3 and since x square coefficient is negative, graph will come like this. So sir, your graph will be like this. This is your graph of this. Simple. In the same way, you can plot for ax square plus bx plus c. Okay. Understood. 
now what sir they are asking area bounded by the curve and the x axis means this part they are asking this part so what is this sir this is from 1 to 3 the curve 4x minus x square minus 3 dx sir it's very simple integration it will become 4x square by 2 x cube by 3 minus 3x from 1 to 3 now you can substitute and calculate like 3 square is 9 9 to the 18 then 3 cube is 27 27 by 3 9 minus 3 3 is a 9 minus now put 1 sir 1 minus 1 by 3 minus 3 Sir, this is eighty. Oh, this will become zero, sir. This will become zero. Now, for this, uh, this is what uh, minus 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 plus. It will become, sir. It will become two plus one by three. So three to the six, seven by three. D option. It will become seven by three, like this, sir. so you need to know the know how of how a curve can be plot and after that it will become very easy you can easily visualize which area they are asking it's as simple as that okay moving on because lot of questions are there now this is a good question and i'll give a one star to it so you should keep this in your notes specifically the area bounded by the ellipse with the coordinate axis in square units now if you make it in a standard form this will be x square by uh, 3 by 6 means 2 and 2y square means y square by 3 equals to 1 sir it's a inverted ellipse because a square is lesser than b so the diagram will become like this okay this will be root 2 and this will be root 3 now benefit of this is this is also a what this is sir also a symmetric graph whatever part may be doesn't showing here but it is a symmetric graph whatever part is here same part is here same part is here same part is here so if you calculate for one quadrant into 4 will give you the entire ellipse area into 4 will give you an entire ellipse area now for a time being let it be a and let it be b means i am taking it as a and b okay now so sir first of all what will be the curve equation sir curve equation means uh, if i am taking x square by a square plus y square by b square equals to 1 so y square by b square will become 1 minus x square by a square and uh, y square will become b square into 1 minus x square by a square okay i can take it as like b square by a square root over or sorry a square minus x square i have taken lcm so finally y will become b by a root over a square minus x square right okay now i need area from 0 to a i need area from 0 to a so 0 to a four times because area of full ellipse will be four times four times 0 to a b by a root over a square minus x square dx now if you don't remember that those big formulas you can't solve these questions so this is very important formula sir so b by a is constant taken out and if you remember the formula what is the what does the formula says sir formula says uh, x by 2 the first term as it is x by 2 first term as it is then plus a square by 2 sin inverse x by a in this case 0 a okay now 4 b by a sir substitute a a square minus a square 0 So what is left? A square by two sine inverse a by a sine inverse one is pi by two minus. Sir, zero is zero. 
and sine inverse zero. So sir, zero only. This will be the case. Now, sir, two two fours are cancel. One a cancel. Answer is pi a b. Answer is pi a b. So why I derived in this form? From this point onwards, my dear students, you can take standard ellipse or standard formula for area of ellipse. Area of ellipse will become pi a b. I have proved it for you. Means if you solve it in after putting a and b also, you will get the same answer. So like here it's root two and root three. So the answer will become pi into root two into root three. So root six pi. Answer will become root six pi like this. Answer will become root six pi. So whenever an ellipse comes, if it isn't coming in board, then you need to show entire thing. But if it coming in J E exam, directly you need to take pi a b. Directly you need to take as pi a b. So this thing you can see, you can note. Means it's a very important part. Okay. I hope everyone. is getting this shallow moving on now the area bounded by the ellipse with the coordinate axis in square unit i have already explained everything means the same part so from this point onwards you need to use as pi ab so pi into root 3 into root 2 so it's pi root 6 okay sure now The area under the curve y equals to x square minus 3x plus 2, with boundaries as x-axis and the ordinate x equals to 0, x equals to 3. So it's a kind of same question. Means it was like this. The this will go like this, right? But what is the difference, sir? Carefully see. X square minus 3x plus 2. X square minus 3x plus 2. Sir, I feel this is x minus 1. X minus two, yes, sir. So one root will be one, and other root will be two. And when I put x equals to zero, it will cut at two. So the graph will come like this. This is your graph. Now I need such a uh, x equals to zero means this is my line one. X is equals to zero, and x is equals to three. you they are asking the area of the curve with x axis between line x equals to 0 and x equals to 3 so what are the curves bounded by these parts sir this is first part this is second part and this is third part now see sir they are not asking between 1 and 2 they are asking between 0 and 3 area bounded by the curve and x axis between 0 and 3 So this will also be included as area bounded by the curve between zero and three. Now, what is the beauty of this question? These two are positive function. Why? Because they are above x-axis. So they will give you positive value. Now, if a student just simply solve this and put this value, it will be negative because it is a negative function. So what a student has to do is, if this is a one, this is a two, this is a three. the final area is mod a1 mod a2 and mod a3 always remember in definite integration normally a1 plus a2 plus a3 but in area same thing has to be done as mod a1 plus mod a2 plus mod a3 okay i hope you are understanding this now what sir integration will be same like Uh, what is it? X square minus three x plus two dx. So integration will be x cube by three, three x square by two plus two x. This will be your integration. So for a one, this will be x cube by three minus three x square by two plus two x from zero to one. From zero to one. For a two, it will be one to two. For a three, it will be from two to three. That's it. That is the difference. Okay, chalo. Let's calculate. So, sir, one by three minus three by two plus two minus zero 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 zero. So it will become uh, what? Three to the six, 
LCM will be 3 2 are 6, th 3 1s are uh, 3, so 2, 2 3s are, uh, 2 3s are, so 3 3s are 9, plus 6 2s are 12. So 14 minus uh, 9, 5 by 6. 14 minus 9, 5 by 6. A2. A2 will be x cube by 3. 3x square by 2, sorry guys, plus 2x from 1 to 2, from 1 to 2. So for 1 we already know this thing is there for 2. 2 cube is 8 by 3, 2 square is 4, so 4 by 2 is 2, so 2 3s are 6 and 2 2s are 4 minus 5 by 6. So sir, what is the answer coming? Uh, minus 2, so 3 2's are 6. Okay, so 6, uh, 3 2's are 6. Uh, yeah, 3 2's are 6. 8 minus 6 is minus 2 by 3. So minus, uh, sorry, 8, it's 3 2's are 6. So 2 by 3, plus 2 by 3 minus 5 by 6. So the answer will be sir 6 as LCM 2 to the 4. 4 minus 5 is 1. So minus 1 by 6. Just see sir. I am getting a negative value. Minus 1 by 6. If somebody takes directly it, he will get or she will get a wrong answer. So that's why you need to put a mod value. That's why we need to put a mod value. Now last one A3 is from uh, 2 to 3. A3 is from 2 to 3. So after putting 2, I got 2 by 3. So just I need to put 3. A3. So if you put 3, 3 cube, 27. 27 by 3 is uh, 9 minus uh, 3 square, 9. 9 3 is a 27 by 2 plus 3 2 is a 6 minus 2 by 3. So the answer will become uh, sir, 9 plus 6, 15. 2 into 15, 30. 30 minus 27, 3 by 2. So it will become 3 by 2 minus 2 by 3. So 3 3 is a 9, 9 minus uh, 4, 5 by 6, sir. Answer will become 5 by 6. Okay. So finally, your answer will become if you take mod value, mod A1 is 5 by 6, mod 1 by 6, 5 by 6. So 5 plus 1, 6, 6 plus 5, 11 by 6. B option. B option. It can be lengthy, but it will be easy. It can be lengthy, but it will be easy. Okay. It can be lengthy, but it will be easy. So always remember this thing, A1, A2 and A3, okay, means if negative will come, you need to take the mod value, you need to take the mod value. So that was a big question, bulky question, but one more means from one learning is there, you need to make that learning as a note point if you're making notes that in area, area cannot be negative. If it, if it is coming negative, we need to take the mod value. We need to take the mod value. Now, sir, area of the region bounded by y equals to mod x and y equals to 2. Sir, y equals to mod x is like this. And y equals to 2 is this line. y equals to 2 is this line. So, sir, this is 0. Now, y equals to mod x. So mod x equals to 2, x is equals to plus or minus 2. So this point is 2, this point is minus 2. Okay. So various times, instead of integration, because of the standard area, this is a triangle, you can use area of standard figures also. You can use area of standard figure also that we have what you can say benefit or advantage in this chapter. So sir, area of triangle is half, base is 2 length, 
height is also two length it will become two but that is area of one triangle i need area of two triangles so final area will become two plus two or two into two that will be four a option that will be four so sir by solving by making diagram and then evaluating area you have lot of option whatever you feel like you can use okay chalo moving on area bounded by fractional part of x and x equals to plus or minus 1 okay sir we know that this is our fractional part function sir 0 1 2 -1 minus 2 one, minus now it's a periodic function so whatever is area of one triangle same is the area of other triangles now the base length is 1 height is also 1 i need area between -1 and 1 so basically area total area will be 2 times half base into height one triangle plus one triangle because i need between plus or minus 1 so 2 two, 2 two cancel sir area will become 1 area will become 1 i hope these things are clear and you are enjoying this thing ha huh? that sometimes we are solving integration sometimes directly by the diagram if we are getting triangle or maybe sometimes you can get square you can equate them directly okay now moving on sir the area bounded by the curves a trigonometry curve now y equals to cos x x axis between the ordinates 0 and 2 pi okay now this can also be a challenging question cos x graph is like this okay means it's not properly so cos x graph is like this sir zero uh, what you can say pi and this one is 2 pi at pi by 2 it is zero 3 pi by 2 also it is zero so between zero to 2 pi sir again i can see three areas this is one this is second and this is third so what you need to do is sir final area will be from 0 to pi by 2 cos x dx it will be positive because it is above x axis but plus mod value of pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2 cos x dx mod value because this will give you negative okay and the last one 0 sorry 3 pi by 2 to 2 pi cos x so it's the same question like that so i want you people to solve after this i have almost done 90% of it now you need to just integrate take always the mod value and comments your answer okay i want everyone to comment answer in the comment box and i'll reply there okay i'll see how many students will reply to this how many will get the correct answer if you understand the concept why i am adding its modulus value because it is a negative function and after solving you will come to know that it is coming a negative value also okay so solve this so i am giving it as a homework give your answer in the comments section give your answer in the comment section okay chalo moving on now sir till here that was area into simple curves means a curve will come and the x axis and between lines they will ask that is the most common part we have solved almost all kinds of question different curves we have taken trigonometry modulus uh, then ellipse all those things the main structure or main chapter starts from this part area between two curves means when they will give you two different curves then how to plot the area then how to plot the area those two curves can be anything circle parabola circle line parabola line anything mod x log x anything sir 
so sometimes the statement will be like this area bounded by curves y is equals to fx y equals to gx line x equals to a x equals to b now they will not mention between x axis just they will mention between the lines sometimes they will not mention this lines also just they will say bounded between the curves so that means wherever they are intersecting wherever those two curves are intersecting so that will become bounded curve okay so in these two cases how you will solve so three cases will appear sir first case 1 fx gx okay this is y equals to fx y equals to gx line x equals to a line x is equals to b sir i need this area which is bounded by curves and the lines how you can find this area if i take integration of fx i'll get area this full area from a to b so i need to subtract this dotted area sir and this dotted area is gx so minus gx okay so you will get your line area understood upper curve minus lower curve now second case can be or you can say one curve is above x axis one curve is below y axis so y equals to fx y equals to g of x line x equals to a line x is equals to b so now i need this full area okay so the above area is nothing but a to b fx dx but below area will come negative so i need to take mod value from a to b gx dx like this but sir we have learned if something is negative in the mod if something is negative in the mod you can remove the mod and put a minus sign right you have learned that in function so that means i can write a to b fx minus gx dx right sir so sir again the result came is same that upper curve minus lower curve upper curve minus lower curve now third sir now both the graphs are below fx gx line line so this will be the answer sir so in this also now this minus this will come this minus this but both are negative so it will be mod of a to b fx oh sorry gx first of all gx will come because gx will be a bigger area so a to b gx dx minus a to b fx dx like this but since both are negative inside the mod both are negative so after removing mod minus sign will come out so minus minus will become plus and this will become minus so fx minus gx like this so whatever is the case the conclusion is my dear friends and students that whatever is the case either the curves are below y axis above x axis anywhere the area bounded between curve is always upper curve minus lower curve between the limits where they are bounding between the limits where they are bounding okay understood 
upper curve so by the knowledge of graphs by drawing a rough diagram we need to understand we need to understand which curve is coming up which curve is coming below and then apply this formula upper curve minus lower curve that's it that's it okay okay my dear students chalo let's solve some questions now first of all let's try with some basic questions the area of the region between the curve y equals to 4x square sir y equals to 4x square is a parabola like this and the line y equals to 6x minus 2 y is equals to 6x minus 2 now it is very simple to calculate the uh, or to draw the line put x equals to 0 y is coming as minus 2 put uh, y equals to 0 x is coming as plus 3 okay so the line will come like this or you can say uh, this curve x square will go up so basically they are asking you this the area between line and curve now nobody will think until they will draw that line is coming up between the bounded parts between the bounded this part is unbounded it is going up to infinity this part will also be unbounded only the bounded part they are asking bacha they are asking only bounded part now so here lines are not given here lines are not given so you need to calculate the lines how by equating the two curves like y is equals to 6x minus 2 so you need to equate both the curves because at intersection points both curves will be equal so 6x minus 2 is equals to 4x square so 4x square minus 6x plus 2 equals to 0 equals to 0 now divide by 2 so 2x square minus 3x plus 1 so 2x square minus 2x minus x plus 1 x minus 1 into 2x minus 1 so half and 1 half and 1 so your area will become from half to 1 upper curve upper curve is straight line sir 6x minus 2 minus lower curve lower curve is 4x square dx that's it in this way now we need to solve the integration which is a simple part in this case this is 6x square by 2 minus 2x minus 4x cube by 3 half say 1 tak 2 1 za 3 za so sir 3 minus 2 minus 4 by 3 minus now half so sir 3 by 4 minus uh, 2 by 2 minus 4 by 2 cube is uh, 8 8 into 3 like this so let's calculate sir 3 minus 2 is 1 so 1 minus 4 by 3 so minus 1 by 3 minus here uh, 4 1s are 2s are 2 2 got cancelled so 2 3s are 6 is there uh, 3 by 4 minus uh, 1 is uh, minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 6 if you take LCM LCM will become uh, 2 3 so 4 3s are 12 so minus 4 plus 3 plus 2 so 5 minus 4 1 by 12 B option sir like this first of all draw a diagram find the points if the intersection points are not there then see upper curve minus lower curve that's it same procedure for almost 80 percent of the question for almost 80 percent of the questions okay Chala. now let's solve some other problems the area bounded by the two curves y equals to root x and x is equals to root y now sir y equals to root x so you have told us it is like this what about x equals to root y 
so whenever such things comes x equals to root y square both side it will become x square equals to y sir this is uh, this curve so root y means half of it root y means half of it means positive part of it like this means positive part of it because x cannot be negative here so x positive part of it so this is it so clearly their intersection point is 1 at 1 only both are equal you can see x1 y1 means 1 comma 1 only satisfying both so sir it is quite simple from 0 to 1 upper curve sir this upper curve was root x this was y equals to root x so root x minus sir lower curve is this you can say like this also lower curve is this means x square you cannot write root x or something okay this is the bounded curve upper curve minus lower curve now integrate sir root x integration x to the power 3 by 2 by 3 by 2 x power 3 by 3 0 1 sir 1 means 2 by 3 minus 1 by 3 0 means 0 sir answer is 1 by 3 first option quite simple as that okay hello moving on next sir the area between the curves y square equals to 8x and x square same question y square now it they have given it as a square so like this and like this okay so they are asking this area quite simple now first of all you need to find the intersection point so i am helping you to get the intersection point equate both the curves equate both the curves like uh, y value you can put or y square uh, y x square is equals to 8 y or in x you can put a value uh, like y square is equals to 8 x and x square is equals to 8 y so i can put y value means or uh, y square or x value in this case like y value will become x square by 8 substitute here x square by 8 ka whole square is equals to 8x x power 4 by 8 square is equals to 8x so one point is 0 so x is equals to 0 and x cube is equals to 8 cube so 8 so this is 0 this is 8 so what you need to calculate from 0 to 8 upper curve now upper curve is this y equals to root 8x like the previous question minus lower curve is x square by 8 simple so this also i am giving you as a homework see a teacher can solve hundreds of question our method or means our vision is to help you to go on a right path to know how to walk on that path now after that you need to reach your destination by your own so as many question you solve by yourself your fundamentals will be clear so after this i want you to solve and comment the right option in the comment box okay okay guys chalo next now sir the area of the region bond between the curves y equals to x square a standard graph like this and x cube sir x cube is sir how it will go we are confused now students get confused sir higher power comes it will go below or up or what so you need to take values like there are always two region at one they are equal at one they are equal so before one you take one value and after one you take one value before one if i take half half square is 1 by 4 half cube is 1 by 8 so that means x cube is lower so between 0 to 1 x cube will go down not x cube every higher power between 0 to 1 will go down but after one if you put 2 2 cube is 
2 square 4. So it will go like this, like this. So x square x cube. So this is the bounded region because remaining regions are unbounded. So it will become 0 to 1. Upper curve is x square curve, lower curve is x cube curve, like this. So integration, sir, x power 3 by 3, x power 4 by 4, 0 to 1. So 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4, 12. So 1 by 12 is your answer. 1 by 12 is your answer. Okay. Moving on. Now, this is a good question. The area in the first quadrant enclosed by the axis, the lines x equals to y root 3 and the circle. Okay. If you draw a circle like this, so this will be 2 minus 2 because the radius is 4. Now it's a line y equals to x by root 3. So, sir, x by root 3 will be like this, a line. Okay. Area in the first quadrant, smaller area. Sir, this is your smaller area. Right. So, sir, now in these questions, you can see if you draw this line, this line where it is intersecting the y. So before that, there is a triangle, but after that, there is a curve. So the area is two parts. One is triangle and one is curve. One is triangle and one is curve. So basically, you need to solve in two parts. You need to solve in two parts. Now, first of all, we need to calculate the area means the points x square plus y square is equals to 4. I can put y value as x by root 3. So x square by 3. So sir, it will become 4x square. So x square is equals to 3 and x is equals to root 3. So this will become root 3 because positive. Now first quadrant value. So sir, this thing is root 3 and this thing, sir, y distance you can put sir x is root 3 so y will become 1 y will become 1 okay so area area is half base into height plus root 3 say 2 from root 3 to 2 area of the circle this is your area see like this triangle circle part that is your total area okay now so this will become root 3 by 2 now that long formula again so this was x by 2 the same thing a square is positive so a square by 2 sin inverse x by 2 root 3 to 2 okay Let's solve root 3 by 2 plus, if I put 2, sir, this will become 0. 2 by 2 is 1. So 2 into uh, pi by 2 minus root 3. Uh, root 3 by 2 because this will become 1 and uh, minus root 3 by 2. Oh, sorry, 2 by 2. 2 sin inverse root 3 by 2 is uh, pi by 3 pi by 3 this thing now sir this and this will get cancel pi minus 2 pi by 3 is pi by 3 so the answer is pi by 3 so the answer is pi by 3 in this way you can calculate this now sometimes some student ask me sir can we use area of sector formula yes you can use sir you can find this uh, angle and you can apply area of sector formula also. Area of sector formula 
also okay you can not a problem okay so sir this i have already solved next are now this question came sir in a triple e 2010 in a triple e 2010 the area bounded by the curve y equals to cos x y equals to sin x between the ordinates 0 and x equals to 3 pi by 2 now making this diagram only is a very big task not big task like sin x sin x is between uh, x equals to 0 so this is pi and this is 3 pi by 2 okay between ordinate 0 and 3 pi by 2 they are asking cos x let me take a different color sir at pi by 2 it is 0 and then at 3 pi by 2 it is 0 so like this so this is pi minus 1 1 like this sir so they are asking the area bounded between curves and the ordinates so sir student think that this is your ordinates they are asking not the abscissa they are asking between the ordinate so the area is sir this part this part and this part these are the area not with the x axis not this and not this so that's why a triple e give you tricky question like this this is your answer now how to solve this sir sir this is pi by 4 where they meet and this point is 5 pi by 4 sorry pi plus ha pi plus pi by 4 5 pi by 4 correct this is the point where they meet again in the third quadrant so sir uh, area this is 0 to pi by 4 upper curve is yellow line so cos x minus sin x now do remember in upper curve minus lower curves you don't have to take the mod value in consideration because automatically it adjust so don't think that this will be negative so i need to take its mod value or what automatically it adjust if you are using upper curve minus lower curve okay plus now this one pi by 4 to 5 pi by 4 pi by 4 to 5 pi by 4 upper curve is sin x minus cos x and the last one beta 5 pi by 4 to 3 pi by 2 again cos x minus sin x like this now cos x integration what will be cos x integration sin x minus 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 it will become plus from 0 to pi by 4 plus now here this one will be minus cos x minus sin x pi by 4 to 5 pi by 4 plus uh, sin x plus cos x from 5 pi by 4 to 3 pi by 2 now all are standard values you can calculate easily let's start 1 by root 2 plus 1 by root 2 2 root 2 sin 0 is 0 cos 0 is 1 okay first part done second part sir minus i can take common out so 5 pi by 4 sir both are uh, negative in the third quadrant so minus 1 by root 2 minus 1 by root 2 minus root 2 minus root 2 minus sir root 2 so again root 2 will come okay then last one sin 3 pi by 2 is uh, minus 1 even from the curve you can see at 3 pi by 2 what it is giving 3 pi by 2 minus 1 cos x will give you 0 minus uh, 5 pi by 4 both are giving you minus 1 by root 2 so minus root 2 so root 2 minus 1 plus 2 root 2 uh, minus 1 plus Root two, so four root two minus two, 
फोर रूट टू माइनस टू डी ऑप्शन ए ट्रिपल ई क्वेश्चन प्रीवियसली जेई मेन्स वॉज टर्म एज वॉज टर्म एज ए ट्रिपल ई सो इट्स अ जेई मेन्स क्वेश्चन लाइक दिस बिटवीन द ऑर्डिनेट्स बिटवीन द ऑर्डिनेट्स लाइक दिस ओके आई होप इट इज क्लियर स्टूडेंट टेक दैट एरिया एंड दे गेट रॉन्ग आंसर सो यू नीड टू लर्न फ्रॉम दिस यू नीड टू लर्न फ्रॉम दिस ओके चलो मूविंग ऑन एरिया बॉन्डेड बाय वाई इक्वल्स टू मॉड एक्स ओके सर मॉड एक्स इज लाइक दिस नाउ वन माइनस मॉड एक्स इफ यू नो द स्टैंडर्ड ग्राफ सर इफ आई पुट एक्स इक्वल्स टू वन इट इज माइनस मॉड एक्स मीन्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ऑल विल बी नेगेटिव एंड वन माइनस मॉड एक्स मीन्स इट विल बी जीरो वेन एक्स इज वन नाउ दिस विल बी जीरो वेन एक्स और वेन एक्स इज जीरो दिस विल गो टू वन दिस विल बी जीरो वेन दिस विल गो वन वन सो दिस कर्व विल बिकम वन माइनस मॉड एक्स लाइक दिस so what what will be these lines sir these lines means mod x is equals to 1 minus mod x so mod x is equals to half so this will one will become half and minus half okay so this one were half and minus half and this is one so again this is triangle sir and this is also a triangle so this height is half and base is 1 so and base is 1 so area will become 2 times half base is 1 and height is half now so sir this will become half unit c option so just you need to know how how to make a graph first of all mod x is given minus mod x means like this and 1 minus mod x means it will shift one unit up it will shift one unit up like that and then transform it on the equation transform it on the equation i hope everyone is getting this okay let's move on to the next question the area in the first quadrant between x square plus y square equals to pi square so means again it is a circle sir whose radius is given as pi and y equals to sin x now this is zero this is pi okay we know that sin x gives 1 at pi by 2 sin x gives 1 at pi by 2 confusion comes sir sin x will come like uh, this or it will come in between how it will be so it's always better to take a value means the maximum value of sin x is at pi by 2 put pi by 2 in this equation pi square by 4 plus uh, y square is equals to pi square so y square will be pi minus pi square by 4 so 3 pi square by 4 So y will become root three pi by two. Y will become root three pi by two. Sir, pi by two will be three point one four divided by two more than one. Into one point seven will be more than one. That means circle will be more than sine x at pi by two. So if circle is more than sine x, so the sine x will come always below it like this. Sine x will come below this. So in this is the way. to judge this is the way to judge which curve curve will intersect or come below or come above okay i hope this funda is clear now they are asking the area in the first quadrant between the curves sir between the curves means this area they are asking they are asking this area now problem arises sir how you will calculate this area how you will calculate this area so all questions are of different kind sir if you kind if you see carefully all questions are of different kind which will make you to learn something the repeated question i have already given you as a homework now in such cases sir if i found the quarter circle area this bigger circle area so that is 
पाई आर स्क्वायर रेडियस इज पाई ओनली बट क्वार्टर सो फोर आई नीड द फोर्थ पार्ट ऑफ इट राइट सो पाई आर स्क्वायर बाई फोर दिस इज दैट एरिया Now, if this sine x area is decreased from it, minus zero to pi sine x dx, that will give your answer, sir. Right. Sometimes bigger area you need to find minus the area enclosed. Now, what, sir? It is simple. Pi cube by four minus sine x integration is minus cos x zero to pi. So pi cube by four minus minus plus cos pi is minus one, cos zero is uh, one, so minus two. So pi cube minus eight by four. First option, like this. First option. I hope things are clear, huh? Shall moving on. The area bounded by y equals to mod of sine x. I don't know how many of you know this. Mod sine x means graph cannot be negative. Graph cannot be negative. I need uh, mod x equals to pi. So, sir, whenever mod comes, whatever is there in negative, you need to make it in positive. You need to make it in positive. So, sir, this, 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 it will become like this. So, the yellow line is y equals to mod sine x, and the white line is y equals to sine x. Now, they are asking mod x equals to pi, sir. Mod x equals to pi means x is equals to plus or minus pi. Means this is pi, this is minus pi. So curve area of two nodes, area of two nodes. So what I can do is area is two times zero to pi sine x dx sine x dx. Now in this case, what it will become, sir? Two times. Uh, Sine x integration is uh, minus cos x zero to pi. Sir, it will become cos pi is minus one, so plus one, plus one, so four. Answer is four units. Answer is four units. So from this chapter, you will learn some transformation rules also, or you will, if you already know the transformation rule, then you will come to know about how to apply them. and how we are using and how it is useful to remember graphic transformations because those transformations are really helpful for this chapter means 90% of usage is in this chapter only okay chalo moving on to the next question the area bounded by this and this is a square by 3 units then what is the value of m they are asking now this is the most type of question means you can find nowadays where you will ask to find the variable value which is there variable value which is there so the methodology is same y square equals to 4x is sir uh, this parabola y equals to mx it's a straight line like this so it will cut sir somewhere we need to calculate so they are asking this area and they are saying this area is already given a square by 3 then what is the value of m so if you put y equals to mx so m square x square uh, is equals to 4 ax one x cancel x is equals to 4a by m square x is equals to 4a by m square so area is equals to 0 to 4 a by m square upper curve upper curve is root 4 ax minus lower curve dx okay now this is 2 root a root x integration 
x to the power 3 by 2 by 3 by 2 minus m x square by 2 from 0 to 4a by m square is equals to a square by 3 it is given sir this much tough what you can do sir we need to solve we don't have any other option so zero zero will become zero just where I need to put this thing so sir it will become 4 by 3 root a and here uh, 4a by m square to the power 3 by 2 will come minus m by 2 4a by m square to the power 2 the rest is 0 is a square by 3 now we need to calculate this we need to calculate this 2 square 2 to cancel sir 2 cube 8 so 2 cube is 8 8 for the 32 by 3 1 by 2 3 by 2 a square will come m cube minus here also uh, 1 by 2 m cube will come okay because 1 m will get cancelled uh, 4, 4 square is 16 16 by 2 means 8 so it will become 8 and here a square so you can cancel a square a square easily if you take LCM 3 m cube so 32 minus 3 8 is a 24 1 by 3 3 3 cancel sir m cube is becoming 8 m will become 2 option m will become 2 in this way you need to calculate in this way you need to calculate I hope things are clear huh so sir calculation is part of mathematics student asked me sir uh, just tell us some tricks so that this calculation can be reduced no sir there is no hard and fast rule to just magic out the calculation okay sometimes you need to work out and solve it okay now let's see some PYQ questions PYQ means which have came in your exams and which are quite simple like in this case the area of the region enclosed by the curve y equals to x square minus 1 and y equals to 1 minus x square sir x square minus 1 means y is equals to x minus 1 x plus 1 whereas y equals to 1 minus x square is 1 minus x 1 plus x so it's a kind of sir parabola means minus 1 and 1 one parabola is like this so sir other parabola will be like this okay 2020 question they are asking area so sir again it 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 will be symmetric so if i find area or i need this full area sir basically i need this full area so the upper curve upper curve is this sir the minus one so area will become minus 1 to 1 upper curve 1 minus x square minus lower curve now see sir in j how much easy question it is coming huh solve it sir 1 plus 1 it's 2 minus 2 x square it's an even function indefinite we have already studied so I can take 2 out and 2 out more so it is 0 to 1 1 minus x square dx right I have taken 2 out so it will become 4 integration x minus x cube by 3 from 0 to 1 so 4 1 minus 1 by 3 0 so 2 into 4 8 by 3 answer will become 8 by 3 So like this sir, it came in J 2020 PYQ. Let's solve some more. Okay, this is the same thing. Now, 2019, this is a good question. I will suggest this is a tough question also. The area of the region bounded by the curve y equals to 2 power x and y equals to mod x plus 1. If you draw y equals to mod x plus 1, 
sir it, it this is 0 at minus 1 if i put x equals to minus 1 i'll get 0 okay now it will be when x is 0 it will be 1 it will be 1 so that means one line will go like this and whatever comes go like this and same cheese like this so this is the graph of mod x plus 1 you just need to draw an x axis and y axis connect it whatever coming this side image on this side that's it now y equals to 2 power x sir y equals to 2 power x so this point is 0 comma 1 this will also pass from 0 comma 1 right when you put 0 it will be 1 so whenever same point comes then it becomes difficulty sir it will come like this this and after this sir what will happen after this what will happen now you need to calculate let's take some value like 1 if I take 1 okay uh, if I take 1 so sir at 1 1 plus 1 2 sir that is also 2 power 1 2 only so again at 2 means 1 both are equal both are equal uh, now check between 0 to 1 and after 1 between 0 to 1 if I put half 2 power half is root 2 1.414 half plus 1 is uh, 1.5 so sir line is bigger so means this curve is coming it will go down like this means it will come like this means it's not proper but it will like this it's going 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 after 0 it will below the mod x plus 1 and after that it will be higher after 1 put 2 2 square 4 2 plus 1 3 only and it will goes on so now basically they are asking this area now they are asking this area so this is 0 this is 1 so that's why IIT gave you tricky question like this. So it will be like 0 to 1 upper curve is mod x plus 1 minus lower curve 2 power x dx. Now sir for mod if you know between 0 to 1 it is positive only. So integration will be x square by 2 plus x minus 2 power x log because mod will be removed x integration 1 integration now put 1 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 by log 2 minus 0 0 2 power 0 is 1 so 1 by log 2 so minus minus will become plus so sir 3 by 2 minus 1 by log 2 fourth option fourth option J 2019 question J 2019 question I hope you people are getting this Chalo. moving on let's do one more question the area of the region bonded by the curve sir curve is very simple like this and the straight line if you put y equals to 0 x is minus 2 if I put x is equals to 0 y is uh, half so the line will be like this so they are asking this area so easily you can do upper curve minus lower curve after finding the coordinates so sir easy question also comes difficult also comes but the nature the types which I have already told you explained you those type of questions are only coming in J those type of questions are only coming in J so I'm leaving this because I know you can solve this so solve this and try to give me answer in the comment section I'll be checking them okay so that was it guys we did a lot of problems today I was very smooth means I was going very slow also I was trying so that you can easily understand the logic behind the questions only two things you need to remember the how the curves will be plotting means above which will be the above curve which will be the below curve their intersection point 
and the area cannot be negative so if it is a negative function when area under curves between the two curves it is already managed i have already showed you okay so revise this point we will take one more class in which some advanced level and some questions which are coming from uh, means higher part are coming we will take one more session on this and then this chapter will be over okay so we'll meet you in the next class take care happy means happy solving safe solving the pw entire team is with you thank you